not just one, not just two, but three survivor folding shovels for this shootout. Let's see which brand will hold up to my test. I want you all to tell me in the comments below which one you think is the winner. Welcome to Ask Clem Today, the best how-tos. Now today we have a nice treat that we're gonna go ahead and review not just one, not just two, but three survival shovels that are foldable and see which one will outlast our shootout. I want you to tell me which one passed the test with flying colors. So we have here, this one here, is a Liatrail. This one here is the Bonaris. This one here is the Iunio. The Liatrail, you can see, it is definitely a smaller head and it has three sections. This is made out of a carbon steel with aluminum alloy. And so we're going to put it through the paces because on this particular one, it shows that it has a saw, it has a side edge, some hex wrenches, it's even got a opener, and there's also inside tools in here. You got this one, they consider it a safety hammer, you can break glass with it, and inside it has multiple tools which I'll show you later. The Leon Trail is 30 inches long by 5 inches wide. This one here, the Bonaris, as you can see, it still has the same sharp edge. The Bonaris is made out of carbon steel. This one has one that comes with it, has one, two, three extra sections that you can add to it, giving you here a total of nine, uh, 39 inches long by six inches wide. So you can see this is much wider. The wrench that you can use, it's got the saw and the sharp edge. And uh, all these you can adjust the heads. So I'm just going to give you a rough rundown and also plus it has a compass. And then you got the Iunio, which you can see it uh, doesn't have as many attachments. Uh, they all have the safety hammerhead. This one here definitely has the saw, has different wrench heads pull out nails, an opener, a sharp edge here to hatch, and this one has got these buttons here that you can push in to adjust your angle, and this one has one, two, three attachment plus the base here, but what's so unique about this is the way that it locks as you turn, so this thing won't swivel on you if you're chopping and things like that, and that's what we're going to put to the test, all right, and we'll show the more details here in a bit. The saw, I would not use the saw to do this. To be reality, a, a dedicated hand saw would be ideal. Uh, obviously, these are all tools in one. They will come in handy. They will do it, but you will exhaust a lot of energy. One of the biggest concern is the twisting as you chop. That's where you guys are gonna let us know which one. So let's start here. Let's get Alright, so did okay. I'm not too impressed with it. But Keep locking it in place. A little bit loose. So I have to take off this. It's just too long to swing. 
Let me do the same thing. Okay, so it seems like the Ayunio did a nice job in chopping. The uh, Boneras did okay. And the, uh, and the Leantra was fair. Okay, again, these are, even though they say for chopping, it's not really meant for chopping. All right, so now what we're gonna do is test the, uh, the digging aspect of it. So this time we're gonna do the digging aspect. We're gonna do five shovels and then we're gonna compare and see how deep it is compared to the three. All right, so they each have a place where you can put your foot on. And that's five. Remember, I want to be careful with this. So I'm just going to clean out the hole, not dig any deeper, but just kind of clean out what I did and take care of this guy. Here. All right. So that was the Leantra. A lot of rattling noise in here. Things are getting loose in the inside. So now, let's check the, the Norix. The Norris. And five. Whoops. He's cheating. He's putting dirt on the other side. Again, we're just going to clear this out. Not going any deeper. Got lots of roots. This one's a little bit solid. Again, I can feel some stuff moving. And what you hear inside is that screwdriver tip that we left inside. Now, we're gonna do the Ayunio. Just to be fair, because one came across just a few roots. There you go. So so we're just going to clear out whatever dirt fell back. There's a huge root right here, guys. There it is. A little bit more solid on the Ayunio. And as we can see, a little bit width. Look at how wide that is. Maybe two fingers. And same thing here. So definitely because these are six inches wide, this is five. And the depth. About here, this one's to my wrist, and this one to here. So, really, in regards to performance, the Ayunio, do a little better, it's a little bit more solid. Then we got the Boneras, and then the Leandra. Leandra. So, there you go for the digging aspect. Now, let's try the hoe, all right? So, let's go ahead. Reposition this guy with a hoe. So that was it. So now, that seems pretty solid as a hoe, I have to say. So I'll give it good credit on that. Let me put it back. So that felt good. Now, put him back. Let's try this guy. Not bad, but it feels like constantly got to keep adjusting. It keeps moving on me, especially right here, this section, which those normally are pretty solid. All right, so that's that one. 
Boom. And now let's try the Ionio. Real easy. Boom. There it is. Really solid. I have to say, guys, the Ionio is pretty solid. So now if I have to compare them, the and please understand, I am not being sponsored. I'm not making any money from none of these companies. I actually purchase it with my own money just to kind of give it a comparison, see which one is better. Right now, I feel Ionio did very good when it comes to the Ho. Second would be the the um, my Antrow. And then third would be Boneros. So again, this is just my opinion. And uh, again, you all are gonna write in the comment and tell me which one you think overall, which is the winner. Trail and the Boneros, they also have hatchets that we're going to go also put it to the test. Uh, what's nice about this particular one, it's got a, a nice etching to it, a woof right to it that you guys can see, and it's got a, a point in the back and with a nice and sharp edge here. The difference between this guy, the Boneros, it not only has a hatchet but it also has a hammerhead, which is nice because when you go in your to-go bag, you should also carry some nails uh, because that would be good in order to hang things in your to-go bag or bug out bag. All right, so we'll set this to the side. I have some paracord here that we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test. So that one's got a knife. Now the one thing you wanna be careful of is the uh, glass breaker or the safety hammer that's pretty sharp there so you don't want to put your hands there and what else it's got one more toy in here a harpoon now that's a harpoon right there which you can use for fishing if you're in a need out in the woods to go fishing shoot out baby that's what we're gonna do and I'm not sure I mentioned that this one here is 38.5 inches long by 6 inches wide. We're putting those bad boys to the test. Daenerys has the hammer. So we can't compare the hammering aspect in none of them because really only one would come out a winner which will be the Daenerys because it has a hammer. So if you're, the hammer is a situation of interest then, then this would be it because it's the only one with a hammer. None of these other two has a hammer. So what we're gonna do is, just check the sharpness and how it cuts here. So this is about roughly two inches, two and a half inches. Let's see how it goes. So they do twist, no doubt about it. Ultimately they're gonna twist. Did it do the job? It sure did. So now what we want to test is the knives to see about scraping here. So let's check this guy out. This is the banana. So what we want to see is, can I create some shavings? Yep. 
We definitely can create some shavings from the knife. It's sharp enough to create that so we can start a fire. Nice. Let's see the knife that comes with the Leantra. Swap out. So this is the knife that comes up with the Leantra. Let's see here. It is creating some with the Leantra, but the knife, I find it to be a little too small to grab it, to do it. Is it sharp? Yeah. If you're finding value with this video, then hey, slap on the thumbs up, and so that will let me know that if you're liking what you're hearing. Ayunio, we're gonna give that a try. Yep, definitely it works out to give me that kindling that I need to start a fire. So, how I rate these, let me put this guy back, which would be is the Ayunio and also the Boneris are on the top running for when it comes to the knife used for kindling. The Leantra, that would come on the second behind these two guys. So that's my opinion on those. What we want to do is, with the knives, we want to go ahead and see about the cutting of the paracord. So, what about if we do it this way with the knife? One, one strike. That's the Leantra. All right, now let's go with the Bonoris. From the back, one. One strike with the knife. So now we're going to try it with the Ionio. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Just one strike. So one strike in all three. So I have to say all three did well with the knives and cutting the paracord. When it comes to if you're out camping or in the woods or hunting and if you have a pig coming at you, uh, out of the three, uh, I would favor the I would favor the Unio and then the second one will also will be the Bonoris the Leantra that would come in last but in reality uh, these two will kind of come in number one and then this will be second and you can see it's pretty nice and hefty it's solid it's just that this guy the Unio there's a little vibration I don't know if you guys can hear it and in reality, it is coming from the knife. So there's a little vibration compared to this guy. This guy's more solid. So take that for what it is. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and slap that bell so you can get the latest video. So like that, you won't miss it. Again, this is a shootout between three survival shovels and I want you all to tell me on the comments below which one is the winner. It's up to you in the comments below to rate this shovel between one to five. One being poor, five being like the all-star that kind of hits the grand slam out of this park. And then in the next couple of weeks, I will tell you which one of the three you guys chose as the number one. All right. so. We're gonna go ahead and still have a few more tests. We're gonna test the, um, the magnesium stick, but in a more controlled environment. I don't wanna do it here because this is dry and I definitely don't wanna start a fire, uh, but it'll be more controlled. We are gonna go ahead and try it with the shovel head. So we're gonna try it with the Leantra. One, two, three, four, five. Seems like it works great with the shovel. We're gonna try the uh, the Norris. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like the serrated edge works great for this stick here. The Unio, we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. One, two, three, four, five. So there you have it. They all give sparks. Just gotta find the right edge. To me, the Leantra 
had lots more sparks. And then the Iono came like real close to second. It almost was almost like a tie, but all three gave you sparks. So there you go. So what I have here is a meter to see which one of the three would be loud. So this is the Leantra. So I had a maximum of 82 dB. Now let's check the Boneras. That was 79. Now let's just go ahead and check the Iunio. 85. 85 dB. So it looks like the Iunio is the whistle is loud, louder than the uh, Leantra and then the Boneras. So there you go. Okay, down below, I'll have the links for all the products that I have here that if you guys want to purchase it through Amazon, again, if you buy any anything through my links, I do make a small commission. It doesn't cost you any extra. But what's nice is that uh, you'll be supporting me and my family and my channel. So like that, I can create more videos for you guys and whatever you guys are asking for. These are the shovels we put to the test, the survival shovels. These are great for emergency reasons. They're portable. They can go in your to-go bags or they can go in your car for emergency reasons or uh, your bug out bags, to-go bags. It could be in your first aid kit, also in your RV or if you're an uh, outdoors person camping. Great shovels to have because of the multi-purpose that they provide. But it's up to each and every one of you in order to tell us which one you think is the best according to what you saw. Again, remember, one is no good. Five, it's a grand slam. And so what I'll do is uh, in the next few weeks, I'll tally up the scores and make another video and showcase which one was the one you guys picked. Guys, have a great one, and we'll see you next time.